Mr. Lansky, why are the American authorities after you? Because a newspaper man started a campaign against me and it snowballed to such an extent that I guess it can't be stopped anymore. I was singled out for some reason. They needed an image. And this has gone to an extent where it just snowballed and I don't know how far it's going to go. And when did the uh, snowball start rolling? Well, actually, it started about 1965, when some newspaper man wrote an article that I have $300 million. Well, I wish I had a million dollars. I said, many more things, remember, have been said about me. They accuse me of making a president. Now, I don't know Mr. Nixon any more than what I read in the newspapers. And the closest I ever got to him is seeing him on television. They claim I have 50% of uh, Lebanon casinos, 50% of Monte Carlo. The Roosevelt sent me to visit Batista on a mission. Now, how ridiculous can we really get? This is just a global lie. Say it long enough and you'll get the people to believe it. So you feel that you're a victim of public persecution? I sure do. Mr. Lansky, what does the name Jewish Mafia mean to you? You know, I never heard that until I read it in the Israeli newspapers. Why, it's most ridiculous. Are there many Jews in the uh, gambling business? Well, when you say many, you'd have to judge by percentage. I think if you took the percentage of the gambling business in the United States, took the Jews, you would find them maybe in their proportion. Why is it said that you are the head of the organized crime in the United States? Well, that's the same principle that started the other gossip. That's most ridiculous. It's the news media again. It's the follow-up of the first thought. It was never said about me before years ago. All this came about just in the last few years. I didn't know as I was growing older it's going to get worse. Is there, there an organized crime? Is there? I have no knowledge of it. Are you a religious Jew? No, I'm not a religious Jew. And what but are... But I'm a Jew. In my heart. What are your connections with uh, Joe Tasha? Just friendly. Mr. Lansky, how do you reconcile the accusations against you in so many publications with your claim of innocence? How do I reconcile it? Yep. Well, it's from the same source. They started the publicity, they could never stop. And I was told by a good authority that they'll never stop. They have too big an investment in me now. Now, I have been under surveillance for many years now maybe for the last 10 years. And I'm sure if these men didn't find anything against me who have every, uh, every resource at its hand, they should know whether I'm in any wrong activities or not. They would know much better than the writers. Do you want to become an uh, Israeli citizen? Yes, I do. Mr. Lansky, did you invest money in business in Israel, or do you intend to invest money? No, I'm retired, and I would like to stay as a retired man in Israel, just like any other retired.